What's up guys? We're going to be doing a cicada pattern today. Uh, this is for the periodical cicadas, the black and orange ones that hatch out every 17 years, uh, not the big green annual ones. So uh, first off we've got this big sticky back sheet of foam, square foam. Uh, you can get that at Hobby Lobby or Michael's Craft Store. Um, so what I did was I took a straight edge and I razored off uh, a real small section about an eighth of an inch wide and then another section about a half inch wide and then uh, I split the difference on the eighth inch section so we go about half as wide um, maybe a little less than half or a little more than half uh, for the tailpiece so we'll go ahead and get this bug going so capture your thread in start that right at the start of the crook here, this bend in this hook. We're going to wrap that all the way down to just about where the bend starts on the shank to go down to the barb and then bring that back up to the base of the crook. We're going to trim off our excess thread. Uh, the hooks we're using today, I forgot to tell you, these are the Umqua U-series hooks, the U504 size 2, and uh, this bend here helps the material from rolling over onto the shank. So, it does a good job holding it in place. So we're going to take that real thin strip that we have, we're going to trim off about an inch long section, we're going to peel off the paper off the back to expose the glue, the sticky side down, on the hook shank, we're going to put that on top of the bend, running off the back. So go ahead and tie that in. And then we're going to trim this little bit. Uh, we got too much going on here. Trim that off just right there. We're going to bring our thread forward up and over the crook. We're going to use a little bit of super glue, put just a couple of dabs down on there. Now that section that's about an eighth of an inch long, we're going to expose the glue on that, so peel off the paper, and we're going to go sticky side up. So set that down on your hook. We'll go ahead and capture that in. Notice how much of the hook eyelet I'm leaving exposed. All right, a couple more drops of super glue. And we're going to bring our thread wraps up to about two thirds of the way up, basically right where that crook starts to bend in the shank. Next we're going to take, take our foam material, we're going to polymer that forward on top of itself to make the body of the fly. Nice even wraps, about half of the foam covering up itself moving forward. And we're going to stop right there, right where we've got our thread located. So we got about two thirds of the wraps done. Uh, we'll take some crystal flash and pearl and we'll cut off maybe, um, use about 12 or 15 pieces or so just to kind of give the wing a little bit of sparkle. So clump about like that. We're gonna lay that down on top we're going to capture that in with our thread, get that all nice, pretty, trim your butt ends off. And for the actual hard wing, I've got some white moose mane in sulfur orange. I got this from my fly shop, it's uh, sold by Nature's Spirit, but it's basically a coarse moose mane that's dyed orange. Uh, you could probably use elk hair dyed orange as well. That would probably suffice, but 
I didn't see any there, so I picked this up. Uh, we're gonna take a section, maybe two dozen fibers, pull them together, cut that off, and this will be the wing back material here. We'll just lay those right on top of our crystal fibers. And we're gonna tie that in. We're gonna trim our excess material. And then wrap that up. Make sure that's looking good. Okay, now we're gonna take the rest of our foam and we're gonna pull this wing that we just created down flat and then wrap over top of it to where it locks it down flat. And then keep polymering that forward. And then stop when you get about a sixteenth of an inch of the hook eyelet left. So we're going to lock in this, this foam. And clean that up. Then trim off our excess. All right. Then you can pull this, pull this stuff backwards. You know, that's how the back of your fly should look. Bottom, back. And we're gonna take our thread and we're gonna wrap back over top of these, not super hard, but we're gonna go back to about where we got that wing tied in. Just like that with our thread. We're gonna take some of these orange silly legs, pull them apart. I've got these pre-cut into about uh, four inch strips. So we're gonna pull off three of those. Take one, double it over on itself, pinch it off. This is gonna be tied on the belly, on the bottom. So roll your hook point up. Display the legs out on either side of the hook point, and we're basically just gonna capture that in right there. Give a couple more wraps. Make sure it's not going anywhere. That's what it should look like. Next, that thick piece of foam that we cut, we're gonna trim off a section about an inch and a half long, inch and a quarter, somewhere in there. And in the very bottom, we're gonna notch a little V out of it. So it should look like that. Peel off the paper, expose the glue. I'm gonna put one dab of super glue on the sticky side on either side of that little V notch that we cut. And we're gonna basically lay this right down on top of the legs. Just like that. Make sure it's straight. I wasn't making sure it's straight here, so. You want them to be straight. There we go. A couple of loose wraps. Keep that from going anywhere. Now right here with your scissors you're gonna poke a hole for the eye of this hook to go through this material. So right at the end of the eye you're gonna slice a little hole in the foam. You're gonna stretch that over and back. Now we're not gonna try to lock this down yet. We just want to get the hook eye to come through the material, just like that. Now you see we got a lot of excess going on here. So we're gonna measure by eye with our scissors right where we have that wing started. And we're gonna cut that off straight across. Next, we're gonna notch a little V up here, this way and that way. If you look at the back of these bugs, they've got just a little trapezoidal shape to the thorax. So it should look somewhat like this. 
Next, I want you to roll this over, peel that back, and we're going to put one little dab of super glue on the back of that little trapezoid that we created, and we're going to push it down flat. Push down flat just like that. Take two loose thread wraps, pull it down. You see how you got kind of like a shovel point going here, flat shovel on the head of the bug here. We're going to take our scissors and we're going to angle this backwards, do a little notch there. And do a little notch there. So you've got like a, a pointed head now. Now take one of those silly legs and we're going to add them to the side of the fly using that same space we created with the thread wraps. Do the same for the other side. Just catch them in. So it should look like that on the bottom. Now I don't use super glue on these thread wraps because if you put super glue on this black foam it'll actually turn it white. So what we do is we use clear nail polish. It's on the blooper reel. I gotta redo that leg there real quick. Alright. There are two wraps so that won't come off. Alright. Bottom of your flash should look like that. Alright. Now we'll do clear nail polish on the thread. Get that all wrapped up on top of the legs. And what we're going to do here is we're going to cut this thread down low, okay? And we'll come trim it up later on once that fingernail polish has dried up. Now we need to create another segment here on top of the head for the the body segment that has the uh, the front legs coming out of it. So what I like to do, I like to stretch this and start my thread on the bottom like so. So I'm going to roll this this way so you guys can see what I'm doing on the bottom. Basically just pulling it tight going straight over Just like that. Now we can trim. Let's get that going one more time. Do three thread wraps so that won't fall off this time. And then I'm going to trim my tag end. Okay. So we've created another body segment there. I'm going to pull this leg forward, capture it. Pull the next one, capture it. One more thread wrap. That's what the bottom of your fly should look like. So we've got two distinct body segments here. One, two, leg point here, leg point there. Same on both sides. Now before we get this all glued down, I'm going to pull the legs straight on the bottom of the fly. Now we can do more nail polish. We can wrap those up. Just like with the last section, we're going to pull this down long and just snip it right there. All this excess thread you can come back later and clean that up. But I'm going to go ahead and do it now, just for the video's sake. And that way I can show you what a finished fly looks like. 
Next for the eyes, we've got these straight pins. You can get these at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Walmart. Make sure you get the long ones uh, with the small red ball eyes. These are made out of plastic, I believe. The little plastic balls on the end, but that's gonna be your eyeball. So I'll take two of those out of the box and we're gonna take a pair of wire cutters and we're gonna cut this straight pin to leave about an eighth of an inch exposed of the pin itself. Take the end of your super glue bottle and just get a little bead going there at the end of the bottle. Just a little drop. We're gonna put just a little drop of super glue on the end of your pin. And we're gonna push that into the head on the side, right behind the eyelid of the fly. Just like that. Do the same for the other side. And you guys are basically done with this fly now. I used to do plastic wings on these, but I like the way this looks a little bit better. I think they cast better and fish a little bit better. Look a little bit more buggy too in the water. With that natural hair, that crystal flash on the side. So I'm gonna add my second eye over here to this side. And that's it. All right, now we start to uh, trim the legs. I like them about a quarter inch long, maybe a half inch. That's it guys, your fly is done at this point. Hope you've enjoyed the video, hope it's helped, and uh, get out there and experience a cicada hatch, uh, fish it, and believe it. It's awesome. Alright, thanks.